What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you all of my go-to basics for spring. I get a lot of questions from you guys about where I'm getting my t-shirts, my jeans, my crewnecks, that kind of stuff. But basically just all the pieces that are honestly like the building blocks to every good outfit I feel like. Um, so today I thought I would just talk through with you what my favorite brands are for those basics, my favorite kind of styles of those basics are, um, and just kind of share with you everything that I feel like are kind of staples that you should have in your wardrobe for spring and summer to make some really killer outfits. Um, so without further ado, let's just get right into this. Okay, so I think what I definitely get asked about the most are t-shirts um, just because I like to wear t-shirts in all of my hauls um, and just honestly in a lot of my videos and that's because I feel like a t-shirt is just like the number one must have for spring and honestly any season just because a good t-shirt truly goes a long way so I thought I would just share with you some of my favorite brands um, you know t-shirts are kind of like a wide range so I thought I would show you just like a whole bunch of different styles um, but the first being my Anine Bing t-shirt. You guys know I love this. Um, it's probably like my most worn graphic tee. And I honestly don't wear a lot of graphic tees. So this one I really love just because the fit is like the perfect oversized fit. Um, this I like to wear just with like jeans tucked in. But also have it on with like black jeans and like a blazer for more of a businessy look so I feel like a good graphic tee is something that you should definitely have this one's from Anine Bing um, I know Urban Outfitters does a lot of good graphic tees as well so definitely check that out um, but these are gonna be my favorite t-shirts so I would say my go-to to buy all of my t-shirts is for sure Uniqlo um, I feel like they just have such a good selection. They have so many colors. They have so many styles and they're a really good price point. Um, so my favorite style is going to be the Uniqlo Uneck Tee. And this is what it looks like. I'm actually going to show you this red one so you can see a little bit more of the detail in it. But this is what it looks like. And I own this in so many colors. I own like two white ones because I wear them so much and I interchange them. Um, there's a heathered gray one I like to wear. I wear this one. I have a black one. And it just comes in so many colors. And I seriously think this is like the perfect all-time t-shirt. Um, but it's just so great. Like the fit is nice. It's not super form-fitting, but it's not super oversized either. So it's kind of just like you're a nice in-between basic tee. Um, the length of the little sides it's perfect for tucking into things so you don't have a bunch of excess fabric that you're tucking into your pants but then it's still nicely kind of like sits on the jean if you know what I mean so I highly highly recommend this the Uniqlo Uneck T style that specific one it's kind of like the material to describe as like I think it's their airism material um but I highly recommend it you guys know I'm all very sweaty and it's supposed to help like when you're wearing it make it a little bit more breathable and help you not overheat so i'm a huge fan of that um the material is thicker so you definitely don't feel like it's see-through or anything and you just it just fits so good guys i can't say enough good things about it um but yeah i love them this is something that i'm going to continue to pick up forever and these are the t-shirts that you guys usually see in all of my hauls and whatnot so definitely recommend these the second style of t-shirt that I love from Uniqlo, this is their crew neck, their cotton crew neck. It's technically cropped, um, but this is kind of another, this would be definitely, I guess, like my second favorite. Um, but this one is definitely a little bit more oversized and loose. This is definitely more a true cotton material, um, but I've got it in white, and then I also have it in this blush pink color so this one if you're looking for a looser fit and more of kind of like a boyfriend style I would definitely go with the crew neck the cotton crew neck um but like I said it's really great t-shirts are everything um and I don't think you can ever have too many especially white ones um and then my last favorite style of t-shirt or the last brand I kind of go to is Topshop. Um, like Uniqlo, they're a super good price point. And something that's really nice about Topshop that I've noticed is a lot of the times um, most of their items do end up going on sale. So 
I picked up this white one during I think like the winter months and then by springtime this year it's on sale so I ended up picking up another white one of these a black one of these and another heather gray one of these just because these are so nice I don't know what the exact style is but I'm gonna have everything that I can find linked below but these are kind of the t-shirt that I go to when I'm not feeling like wearing a thicker one so if I'm looking for a little bit more structure something that's gonna like layer a little bit better I usually stick towards the Uniqlo ones because they are that thicker material whereas these are definitely lighter they're a little bit more see-through you can even see like on camera um, these are really good for when it's hotter out and you just want to feel a little bit lighter um, these I think are definitely a little bit more casual so like I'd usually wear like the Uniqlo one with like a blazer for work but this one is really good just for like t-shirts and like layering with like cardigans and that kind of thing that's not to say you can't do that with all of them but I just wanted to show you guys these this is the Topshop one and then this is what the heather gray one looks like i wanted to show you the black one but it's in the wash unfortunately so but yeah these are just really really great basics um those are my 100 percent go-to's um so to wrap it up top shop and uniqlo favorite t-shirts um i love all of the indian bean graphic tees and if you want a lower price point i would definitely check out like urban outfitters i know brandy melville has some um, but there's really no shortage so I just feel like overall a t-shirt is an amazing basic to have because at the end of the day you can just pop it on and you're gonna be able to style it so many different ways um, and you guys know I love them so definitely check those out worth your while um, but let's just get on to the next basic okay so the next basic I feel like everyone needs to have in their spring wardrobe is definitely a crew neck sweater um, I feel like they're really good because when you're coming out of the colder months um, and it's transitioning to be warm you're not quite like wanting to wear your big puffer jacket you're not wanting to wear your like oversized turtleneck but a crew neck is a kind of like good in between um, and another thing I really love about crew necks is I basically style them in the same way that I style my t-shirts um, you can even layer them over the t-shirt so when I traveled to LA I had a t-shirt underneath and then I popped a crew neck over and I think there's just something kind of cute about having like your t-shirt poke out from your crew neck um, so yeah, I feel like a crew neck is just another good basic to have. Um, I also get my crew necks from basically the same places that I got my t-shirts that I showed you guys. I love Topshop crew necks, I love Uniqlo crew necks, and I really am loving my Anine Bing crew neck. So the Anine Bing one you guys will have seen if you watch my latest haul, but this is just my crew neck. I love it. I think what makes a good crew neck is definitely the fit. I love them to be a little bit oversized, but I don't like it to be so baggy that it looks like I have absolutely no shape. So I think when you find a good crew neck that kind of gives you like that feeling, you just kind of know. I know that's super cheesy, but I feel like you just know. And um, you'll get so much wear out of it. And that's how I feel about this one. So I love this, definitely worth it. And then I also really, really love this Topshop crew neck, like the t-shirts. Um, this went on sale, and I think I ended up getting it at Nordstrom for like 15 bucks, which is an amazing deal. Um, so yeah, this one's just Heather Gray, really cute. Um, this one is a little bit more slim fit than the Anine Bing one, um, but it's good, you know? Gotta have options. And then my last favorite style is from Uniqlo. So honestly, I feel like this is the message I'm sending to you guys is to go to Topshop and Uniqlo for all of your basics. Um, but Uniqlo came out with kind of a mock crew neck um, pullover, and I'm obsessed, you guys. It's so cute. So I picked up the cream color, and then I also picked up this like pinkish color. Um, but I really love it. It's the perfect oversized fit. I got a size small, and what I really like is kind of how it has the seams down the side. I think it's just like a fun little touch, but these are really nice. They're super thick um, and just so easy to wear. So I cannot say this enough. Pick yourself up some crew necks, stop by Uniqlo, hit up Topshop, and 
you'll be good to go. The next basic I am going to talk about is um, raw hem denim for spring. Um, you guys already know that I'm a huge raw hem denim girl just because of my height. Um, so I'm super stoked that it's in for spring. Um, and I thought I would just show you some of my favorite ones at the moment. Um, the first being these white Levi's wedgie jeans. These you guys will have also seen in my latest haul. Um, but I just can't get enough of the Levi's wedgie jeans. I think those are an absolute must to have in your closet. If you haven't already tried on a pair somewhere, go do that as soon as you possibly can because I swear you are going to fall in love. Um, but yeah, and I guess that kind of leads me to another point. I feel like white denim for spring is also just like such a go-to um, because you still get that like denim jean look, but in a more fun springtime way. So yes, white denim, raw hem denim, can't go wrong. Um, the second pair of jeans I just wanted to show you with the raw hem are these button fly ones. These are the denim forum ones from Aritzia. The raw hem is still there as well, but I think it's good to just have like a lighter pair of skinny jeans too, just so you can kind of play around with the silhouettes of your tops. Um, I always typically like to wear like a looser, like maybe I'll wear like a looser baggy tee and then like a skinny jean just to kind of balance it out. Whereas if I'm wearing like a boyfriend jean, I'll probably wear like a tighter fitting t-shirt or something that kind of balances that out. So definitely a good, staple to have in your closet for spring and then the last pair I wanted to show you that I have been wearing to death are these Topshop raw hem denim ones these I also got at Nordstrom and like all the other Topshop things that I've shown you so far this also went on sale and I think I got these for like 34 bucks which is a great price for jeans um and I really do love the quality of the Topshop ones I feel like they're just Topshop just does good denim for a really good price point and I think it's just something you can't beat and they always have so many different styles so definitely check them out and if you see a pair maybe wait until it goes on sale um, but yeah these are really great they're a nice medium wash and yeah that's all um, so definitely pick up yourself pick up a pair of raw hem denim for yourself um, just because I think it is a really good basic and this is what's going to look good with those t-shirts and those crew necks um, and then of course you can layer a bunch of stuff on them so yeah the next basic I want to talk to you guys about are light jackets I feel like this is also a go-to spring basic that everyone should invest in um, some of these are going to be a bit repetitive from my haul, but I just wanted to re-talk through them and explain to you like why I think it's so good to have them in your wardrobe. Because these, I feel like the lightweight jacket is what's really going to finish off your like basic look. Once you have your basic t-shirts, once you have your basic denim, your basic sweaters, these light jackets are what's going to really like complete your look. So... That being said, I feel like it's super important to talk about them. Um, the first for spring being just having a little denim jacket in your collection. This is the little raw hem one I was showing you guys in my haul from the other day. But I think this is just going to be really great um, with a lot of different things. And it's a good basic to have because you can wear this so many ways. If you want, you can wear it with your t-shirt. You can wear it with a tank top. You can layer it over a crew neck. You can style it with like one of your fun little spring summer dresses. So yes definitely a must also just having like another option on hand this is very similar to a denim jacket but it's more of like the utility trend um but i think it's just a good basic because it's a nice neutral color it's gonna look great again over every single one of the basics i've described so far so check something like this out this one's from aritzia i believe it's the sabrina jacket um but this is just gonna be like a fun good basic piece to wear throughout the entire season and then the last lightweight jacket I think you guys need you need to have or I think you should have is a trench coat um, I feel like it's definitely just like a good elevated basic to have in the spring and summer months just because you know you're not going to want to wear one of your little like cargo or jean jackets to dinner um, if you're going like to a nice event or something so I feel like having a lightweight trench is a really good option 
Um, I have a few to show you. The first being this one. This is the Lawson jacket. This is from Aritzia. I got it in this nice camel color. Um, but I just think this is a really good thing to have. I wore this a lot in LA. Um, I wore it with just like a little black um tank top and some white pants so again going back to those basics but i think this is just a great piece to have because i feel like it really does elevate a look you could pop it over like a slip dress if you wanted to for a more like fancy night out so good to have options with this and then the last lightweight trench i want to show you is a guy is a jacket that you guys know i'm so in love with this is the skylar trench by um the group at aritzia um, I have it in two colors. I've got the forest green and the camel color. Um, and I just think these are great for spring. Um, you guys know I live in Seattle, so it's good to be prepared for the rain. And it just gives you that kind of like same trench coat vibe. This one's a little bit more casual. So this is gonna what this is what I'm so excited to wear over like all of my crew necks with just like a good pair of jeans. Um, so yeah, definitely think about incorporating some of these basics into your wardrobe because I think they are so worth it and I think they are really going to be like the cherry on top of making your basics rock. All right, so the next basic that I think everyone needs for spring um, is a good pair of sneakers and I'm sure you guys can probably already guess but I'm going to show you my common projects, Achilles sneakers. These are my tried and true. I think I've mentioned these in so many videos because they are truly a basic um, and a go-to. So, and I, I feel like at this point, it's just like any white sneakers a good go-to. So you can even look into like beige sneakers, a pair of Converse, Nike Air Force Ones. There are so many options out there, but I feel like just having a good pair of white sneakers as a basic in your closet, especially for spring and summer, is something that's just going to be so timeless um, you're going to be able to wear this with jeans and a crew neck um, you're going to be able to wear this with your floral dresses you're, you're just going to be able to wear it with everything I promise you so definitely look into investing into a pair of white sneakers um, I do want to show you two other pairs the next being just a pair of Vans these are just the classic Vans old school ones these actually are brand new because I trashed my old ones and it was I just had to replace them because they're such a staple. They're also a really good price point um, for sneakers and they just look super cool with everything. So just like the white ones, you can wear this with so much and this is going to get you really far during the springtime and your feet are going to be comfy. So I feel like comfort is key. So definitely invest in a good pair of sneakers and then the last ones I want to show you are the ones I also mentioned in my haul these are my golden goose ones I think I am gonna make a lookbook on these so stay tuned for that but yeah these I definitely think are a little bit more trendy and a little bit more unique of a piece but going back to what I said just having some good sneakers that you love in your closet is gonna get you so far this spring and summer so definitely invest in those um, but that actually concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed filming it for you guys. Um, but yeah, I think my main takeaways are definitely go to Aritzia, Uniqlo, and Topshop for a lot of good basics. Those are for sure my like top favorite brands um, at the moment. Invest in a good pair of sneakers because that's going to go with everything um your white t-shirts your plain crew necks those are what's gonna look good with um your fun jeans just anything so just keep it simple i think because for me i like to wear just like a plain white t-shirt and then put on like some cool gold jewelry some cool gold earrings and kind of dress it up that way and then i think my last thing would just be invest in some lightweight coats because I think that that's what really completes an outfit. I think, you know, we like, yeah, it's cute to wear like a t-shirt and jeans because who doesn't love a good tee and jeans look? Um, but it's going to be even more fun and more elevated if you have like an added layer on you. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any good basic brands that you think that I should check out, definitely leave a comment below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much and I will see you guys all in next week's video. Bye!